and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, um, I'm going to be showing how I changed my entire rat setup into a deep layer of bedding instead of using like towels or fleece or anything like that. So if you don't know, I have actually gone through a very lengthy process of trying to figure out what I like to use for my rats. I've tried um, dog puppy pee pads, reusable ones. I've tried fleece, I've tried towels. Um, I used to do like a little, a little layer of bedding. I tried all of those methods and I didn't like any of them. And my breaking point for not using towel anymore was when I literally deep cleaned the cage and the next day it smelt again. And I think that's because I was using cheap towel, but still even before that, I would have to deep clean the cage twice a week. Anyways, I am so much more happy with like this setup with the deep layer of bedding than I was before. I have to clean it so much less. Um, and I'll just go into more detail about it after you guys see the clips. And yeah, the clips are from actually a month or two ago when I filmed it and built this. So I've had a while to like live with this setup and I just, I love it so much. Okay guys, so this is the sheet of Coroplast I had purchased. If I remember correctly, it was 24 by 48 inches. There's different sizes, but this is the one I decided on for my cage. And then the first thing I did was completely spray this thing down because it was actually really gross. It had probably been sitting in a hardware store for a long time. So yeah, I just gave that a really good wipe. And you can see here on the white towel that it's pretty dirty. And that was only like one wipe. Then I marked down how big I want my Coroplast sheets to be. I decided this based off of the measurements of my Critter Nation cage. So I just measured that and then wrote down the measurements on the Coroplast and got to cutting. So when you go on to this step, just make sure to not make your Coroplast sheets the exact same size as the measurement of your cage. It needs to be a bit smaller so that it actually fits inside. And I did this, but it was still too big, so I had to actually go back and cut the pieces again. So sorry for the awful quality in these clips. I was filming this in my back storage room down in my basement, so the lighting was awful. Um, and the reason I was doing it in here was because we had cement flooring and I was thinking I was gonna exacto knife the coroplast, but then it didn't work and I just used scissors anyways. I don't know, I had seen a tutorial where someone used an exacto knife, but for me, the coroplast was just way too tough to cut through with that. And this was my finished result with the cut sheets. Okay, this is kind of a bonus clip to the video, but this is my rats doing what I trained them to do, which is getting in their carrier without me picking them up and putting it into it. So basically what I do is I shake this like can of treats that I have, and then they get in their carrier, and I give them the treat after they get into the carrier themselves. So I actually taught them this, and it wasn't that hard. You just kind of put the carrier in the cage, and then once they get in it, give them a treat. So then they associate the carrier with getting a treat. Yeah, so I wanted to show that because I was kind of really proud of this. Um, <laughs> and I am just here waiting for the last rat to come into his carrier because he was like up in his hammock, not paying attention. And here he comes down and I show him the treat and then he gets in and I give it to him. Like, look at that. I was so proud of this. Anyways. <laughs> So then I just give the cage a quick wipe and in the next couple clips you're going to see me kind of struggle to fit the Coroplast in. This is where I kind of figure out that I didn't cut them short enough and they weren't fitting in well because of that. So I put them in and then I decide, okay, I need to cut it a bit more.
So I decided to put my Choroplast around the Critter Nation base. And because of this, if you have a Critter Nation, you know that there's kind of this part that sticks out in the middle. And so I decided to cut my Choroplast around that. And then off camera, I taped the Choroplast all together. And then here I am just opening up my new Aspen bedding and I'm about to put it in the cage. So for this part, I had to go grab my dad to come help me because I wanted to remove the middle layer of the Critter Nation to create a more open concept for my rats, which is better to create a more active layout for them as well as it would be easier for me to clean because I don't have the entire middle layer um, where I would probably have to put bedding. So instead, I just removed that middle layer. It's so much easier for cleaning now and yeah, I just love it so much more. So this is what the cage looks like after I decorated it and I did decide to leave one of the shelves in there so that I could put the litter tray on top of it and also so that I could tie the IKEA tie holder onto that so that the rats could easily access the rest of their cage by climbing onto that. It wasn't too um, hard to set this all up. It was a little bit pricey. The chloroplast was like, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, chloroplast. It was um, around $35, but um, it's really good. Okay, sorry, this guy's a little bit distracting. Max, come back. Max. It's really good for your rats to have a deep layer of bedding. It's good for them to forage for their food and dig in there. Um, I love it and I think they love it and it smells so much better. So basically I only have to deep clean it like once a month. I completely get rid of all of the bedding and then I replace that. And then once a week or a week and a half, I will get rid of all the hammocks and replace those with fresh ones and then wipe down the bars and especially like their plastics. I wipe down all the plastic stuff like their baskets, their Sputniks. But the whole like deep layer of bedding, I only have to replace, yeah, once a month kind of. Um, oh, and I forgot to say that their litter, I do once a week as well. It just keeps it smelling better. And yeah, I just find it so much less work. And I wish I had done it from the start. I just had this idea in my mind that having like bedding was gonna be this big hassle of having to clean it all the time when really it's not a hassle at all. Like having to just throw bedding into a garbage can once a month compared to like washing towels twice a week, it's way better. Like I prefer, you know, doing that than having to do laundry all the time. That's just me. Um, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. If you have ever had a deep layer of bedding, what you guys like like about it or if you like it. So yeah, that's reason number one. It keeps my room smelling very nice. And reason number two, I feel like the rats really enjoy it. They love to just like chew on the wood and kind of grind down their teeth. And um, they, they love digging in it. They love pushing everything aside. I love to like scatter their food in there and kind of hide it. And then they dig and try and find their food like as a foraging kind of thing. They love doing that. And I think it's so much better for them to chew on like wood as compared to towel because they were chewing and destroying the towels I had in there. Anyways, that's just my recommendation, especially if you are struggling with like the smell. This is the way to go. I recommend it. Also, I'm filming in front of the cage and it's open and I was hoping my rats would come out and play, but they're kind of tired right now. I usually let them out later at, like at night. They're not used to me like keeping the cage open in the middle of the day. I do want to incorporate them more in the videos, but they don't like to like come out and be near me or really anything like that. Like they're not really the most cuddly little guys. Um, aren't you Max? You're not the most cuddly guy. 
to chill on me for a little maybe. So yeah, aside from that, I do have some, like a little bit of news. Um, I created an Instagram account for the rats. This is the name of my Instagram account. I had to put an underscore at the end because reselly was already taken. I decided to make an Instagram account because I thought it would be a good spot for you guys to go if you wanted to DM me and ask me questions because I thought that it would be good to make a sort of Q&A video in the future and I thought it would be kind of like a fun interactive video where I interact with you guys. Um, so basically you can ask any questions about me, about the rats, about like my general care towards them, my DMs are totally open and I want to get back and respond to all of them. So yeah, for my next video, probably my next video, I will be doing a QA. and a So go to the Instagram, ask me a question if you have a question and I will most likely feature it in the next video. I'm thinking when I feature a comment, I'm not gonna include any of like your Instagram ads just to keep it like a little bit private and not you know expose your Instagram account. So if you ask me a question, I'll just include the message and not your account name. So if you want, you can put your name in the message or whatever you feel comfortable with on video. I might try and like upload photos of these guys, but I'm not a photographer and I don't wanna feel like I have to take photos of them cause I'm like not the best at it, but I made like little stories for them. That's all I have right now. I made little stories for them and you will see it. Um, and I'll try and like put little clips of them in their like individual stories so that you can get more of a sense of their personality. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, at the end of this video, I'm gonna include some clips of the rats just messing around because there hasn't been a lot of like me showing what the rats are doing. So I'm just gonna <laughs> insert some cute clips and then for my Q&A video that I'm thinking of doing, I'll probably have the rats doing something fun like pee fishing or yeah, I'll just show them more. I'll make sure to show them more in my next video. Good boy. <laughs> Max. <laughs> Hi. Good boy. We just had a moment. Is there a reason you want to eat my... <laughs> Is there a reason you want to eat my side table? Oh my god! He peed! He peed on me! He's licking it off! He's licking the pee off! Why? I don't trust you at all. I don't trust you!